My name is Shirley Vole. I am a postdoctoral researcher at the Johns Hopkins School of Public Health in the epidemiology department. And I research the spread of pathogens using genomics. So I use sequencing data, data about the DNA or RNA inside an organism, and use that to understand how a pathogen is spreading, how it's evolving, how it might affect us. And I originally started working on cholera in my position here at Johns Hopkins, um, but have, with the beginning of the pandemic, started working on SARS-CoV-2 as well and using the RNA of that virus to help us understand how it's spreading locally in Maryland, but also all over the world. So the first thing to understand is that mutations are totally normal. Every organism mutates over time. I mean, we as a species evolve and develop mutations over time. It's just that in viruses, which replicate really quickly, those mutations occur on a time scale that we can observe them happening during the course of a pandemic. So when we say mutate, we really just mean every time the virus replicates itself, it might make some mistakes randomly. And some of those mistakes stick around in the viral population because they don't really have any effect on the virus. And some of them do have either a positive or negative effect on the virus. And that sort of influences how it interacts with its host population. And when we define what we call variants in the news, we're actually usually referring to a set of mutations that we're seeing occur in many infected individuals. So we're seeing many different viruses that all have the same set of mutations. And this isn't totally uncommon because once a mutation occurs, if it's not harmful for the virus, it will persist in the viral population. So if a mutation randomly occurs when I'm infected and I infect somebody else, that person will probably have all the mutations that the virus that was inside me had, just because there's no reason for the virus, as long as the virus isn't affected or negatively influenced by those mutations, there's no reason for that mutation not to kind of get passed on to the next generation. And so when we see these UK variants or other variants, we're really talking about sets of mutations that are occurring in, in many different viruses. I think the reason that we're so concerned or fixated on these variants is because of where these mutations are happening within the virus RNA. So the outside of the virus, there's a protein called the spike protein. And this protein is what helps the virus enter human cells. And a lot of these variants that we're discussing currently have mutations in this protein. And this causes some concern because these are the variants that could potentially, not always, but could potentially affect how easy it is for the virus to enter human cells. So that would affect the transmissibility of the virus, or it could affect how we're designing vaccines and therapies, right? Because these vaccines and therapies are designed to target a very specific portion, very specific RNA sequence of the virus. So when that sequence changes, that can affect how well the vaccine or therapy works. And many therapies and many vaccines are des designed towards these outer proteins, to these spike proteins, because it's what the host cells already interact with. I think one thing that people may want to know is whether they should be more scared or whether they should be doing something different now that the different variants are appearing in the United States or wherever they live. And I think the advice that I've heard from a lot of experts is you should still be doing what you were already supposed to be doing to try to stop the transmission of the virus. So it just means that you it's even more important to wear a mask. It's even more important to social distance. But those basic actions and those basic um, actions that you can take to help reduce transmission and help protect yourself don't actually change. It's the same process. It's just potentially even more important that everyone adheres to them and everybody makes an effort to wear a mask and reduce transmission.